Hi, welcome to As the Curl Turns, or um, as we like to call it, the Laverne and Shirley Show. <laughs> this is episode two of Backroom Basics, where we in the back room of our salon show you some little tips and tricks to help your morning go a little bit smoother. My name is Erin. This is Kira. Our tips and tricks for you today involve the flat iron and the curling iron. Kira? Very serious instruments. Both of which you should probably already have in your repertoire. So we're going to show you a little, um, a couple tricks. I will be demonstrating the flat iron on this beautifully clocked hair. Erin's uh, going to show you some great curling techniques with her favorite spring loaded curling That's right. iron. That's right, spring loaded. Yeah. Easy to use. Easy, really. Beautiful. I'm going to be showing you two techniques today. One is how to create those big beachy waves in a very short amount of time, in about five minutes, probably six. And then after that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to curl my hair as if the this regular curling iron was a wand curling iron that didn't have the shell. Those are really, really popular right now, but you don't have to buy another curling iron to get that same kind of like wavy effect. So I'll be showing you both. I'll be using my favorite product. Sebastian Reshaper. Love you, Sebastian. I'm gonna move over to give you some space now. Oh, okay. I'm going first this time. Okay. So, put your mittens around your kittens, and away we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm gonna start the timer. Yes. Sorry. Yes, please time us. Long pause. Dead air. We're starting. Dead starting. air. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So beachy waves, they are all the rage. They're big and loose and not at all what really anybody looks like at the beach. Mm -hmm. Whatever. That's just my opinion. If just because I don't look super fabulous at the beach does not mean that others can't. So the key to those bigger waves is to take bigger sections and to not leave the curling iron on as long. So I will take with my rat tail comb. I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a fairly big section. Just going to grab it. I'm going to spray, not in Kira's face. You want to spray the mid shaft of your hair. And then you're going to start in the middle and you're going to work your way down. If you start at the ends and you curl your way up, which is the most common way to do it, all you're going to get is curl at the ends and your top is going to be straight. But if you start in the middle, you get a little bit of bend up here. That is a common problem that I hear in the salon. People say that their hair doesn't hold curl. And it totally will. You just got to know how to do it. So don't start here and then like roll your way up because you're only going to have curl at the bottom. You got to start in the middle and then turn. <laughs> Hi, Jordy. Before it work. Hello. That's our boss. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jordy. All right, we got one that's kind of wild. Kind of wild right there. Wild child. And you're just going to move around. You're going to move around your head. You always want to use hairspray. That will help your curls stay. For people who say that their whole hair doesn't hold a curl, it's because they're not using any product and they're not using their curling iron right. True. And these are just things that you, you know, kind of learn along the way. If you don't have anybody telling you this is how you do it, you're totally not going to know. Of course, you're going to start at the end. This is beautiful curl. My gorgeous curls. Mm -hmm. So notice my sections are really big and there's not any real rhyme or reason to them. Again, there is no science to this. You are basically grabbing a section and you're putting it in the curling iron. It, um, as if it's too big, then you're not going to get any curl. So you need to be semi mindful, but you don't have to like make it out in a grid. Yes, going to prom. <gasps> Jordy showed us these hilarious photos of um, his high school days, late 80s, early 90s. Oh, the the big hair 80s hair. hair. Oh my gosh. The feathering. Oh god. And the, the wings. Oh my gosh, those big wings that came out. Yeah. 
beautiful. That's what dreams are made of. And the super shiny prom dresses. Ugh. And nylons. Gosh, I miss nylons. Just like Jennifer Frost. Ugh. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. So, see, just grabbing and going. Grabbing and going. Do you need more money? Oh. Should I? Kira's suggesting I put something in my hair. Just a little sheer brilliance. Just to break up, break up the waves when you're done. Go for it. What? Just <laughs> pull it right through. I'm not shy. So you put it on like hand cream in between your fingers on the backs of your hands. This, this is, is great a shine serum. Shine serum, anti frizz anti And you just kind of break it through to kind of break up those curls. Get those magic hands. Magic hands. Break up that hairspray, and then you have all that sexy wave. Big beachy waves. In four minutes and six seconds, no big deal. So I did almost half of my head in four minutes and six seconds. So multiply that, right, by two, two and a half, and you have basically like an eight minute curling session that will give you curls that are gonna last all day. So when you're rushing around in the morning, consider taking just a couple of extra minutes in order to, you know, make you look a little bit sexier. I'm going to turn it over to Kira. Stop in four minutes. Four minutes, 37 seconds. Record. Love it. Erin, you're so efficient. I do my best. Look at that. I mean, you I like my sleep. Beach right now. Shh. I do look like I just got a You do. Like I'm imagining you in a bikini right yeah. now. And then a big wave comes. And then <laughs> Gets my pants all wet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Beach. So happy I came today. Oh, I was going to show you some stuff with a flat iron. I'm so excited. Thank you, Erin, for turning it over. I look like a drowned rat <laughs> at the beach. I swear. I am. It's not glamorous at all. Um, I don't even. I don't do the bikini or any of that. Um, so this is. Um, stemming from our challenge video sent from Janae Hatton, oh, Sariana, and she uh, showed us some really great techniques for her going out um, with her husband for an important dinner. And Erin um, and I watched it and absolutely loved all the tips and tricks she did, and that she gave some notice to flat iron and prepper hair before um, executing Erin's first style with the pins. So what I wanted to show you today was even though um, someone with short hair, um, I can still have a wide range of styling when it comes to the hot tools that we have. Um, my favorite is a flat iron and um, I definitely differ when it comes to uh, curling iron choices, but if I was doing something on myself in my own bathroom, my flat iron would be my best tool. Most of us have our flat irons already in our drawer, so um, again, if you didn't want to step out and buy a curling iron, yeah. a flat iron would be your you second totally, choice. You totally don't have to. Absolutely. So, yeah. I'm going to show you in the back. Um, multitasking. Analog. Multitasking. Analog. Erin's great at smartphones. Uh, you don't I know. Don't I don't know. What so, um, a couple tools. Clip. Um, these are just jaw. That was like alligator. They do. They're like crocodile mouth. Is that yeah. what it is? Technical term. I have a comb, um, which is just a standard comb, not Erin's fancy uh, other comb, her rat tail comb, <laughs> and then just a regular flat iron. So this one's important, especially when you're going to be doing curling, um, is that it has really smooth plates, um, and I have it turned down on low actually. So. Um, Common myth, you don't have to have your flat iron cranked up to the highest, highest heat. Um,